Well, good morning. Today is October the 8th, 2015, and um, I'm just showing you again um, another plumeria that was from an original that I've had for about 20 years. Now, what I've done this morning is taken some of the cuttings because they were low to the ground, like a bush, as I said in an earlier video, and here are the cuttings. So what I'm going to do is have these stay in the shade for a couple of days. Today is Thursday. Look at that. Today is Thursday, and I will keep them here until mm, Saturday or Sunday. Normally, I do take care of them on Saturday, but um, we'll see. Um, so I'll have them here until about Saturday or Sunday, then I'll... Uh, put them in a pot but you can see how large the leaves are and again the original plant here you go what is about 20 years old that's where I've taken these from so I have some others that now um, I'm, I'm putting them in the shade um, I stopped by a plumeria garden caretaker if you will and uh, showed him one that I had a problem with for who knows what particular reason. And he said uh, that I needed to actually cure them in the shade, which for 15 years I, I actually haven't. I've always done it in the sun. Uh, but I'm going to try that. So and see uh, maybe the sun, because we have had a uh, heat wave in the last couple of months, maybe this was just too strong for the cuttings, um, the heat, if you will. And so I'm going to um, um, do it and see what happens. These are some cuttings. I just want you to see. I've had them cured, and then I place them just in a painter's bucket, if you will. Um, in a little bit dirt so that they can start uh, uh, rooting and then they will be moved or sold but um, you can see they've been in here oh at least a week they've been cut for about two weeks and you can see that the leaves are standing up so they're doing okay they've uh, I don't take the leaves off um, as the plant starts, this is another one I've been, I rooted, and I want you to see what happened here. This is because the plant, again, uh, from the mother plant uh, is where this came from, and it was um, on the ground acting as a bush, and that's what that is. That just, if you will, was rubbing on something, mainly the dirt. So um, these are doing well. Uh, you can see that the leaves are standing up. Uh, and so once the leaves once I see that the leaves are no longer turning yellow then I cut off the yellow leaves um, and that tells me that the plant is adapting to its new spot so you can see that and again you can see this Here's another one. I have some roses in there, which when they bloom, look really great. I'll show you one against the plumeria. So, look at that. A rose and a plumeria together. Now, roses are drought tolerant as well. Um, you know, they grow in the desert, and you can also grow them as. So, here are the ones that I have ready. Um, this here have had it planted since uh, first part of July all of these basically have been here since the first part of July and you can see I want to show you this look at this this is really doing well so don't throw anything away uh, try these here the plant was not doing well I cut off what was um, at the end and you can see now that the leaves are standing up these things aren't even an inch uh, they were just the tips uh, the plant itself wasn't doing well had to throw it away however the very tips were doing okay so you can see that they're making a comeback 
So try it. Don't throw anything away. Continue. Uh, this one here, I love this one. This one is a rainbow. It's been planted here since about uh, July. It has an inflow. It gave some very pretty flowers. Um, so these are these are ready. Uh, and if you live in California, of course you can cut these. You can actually cut them anytime. But if you live in Southern California, uh, cut them now because it's still warm and uh, you'll be able to uh, have some success. So happy planting. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'll be more than glad to help you. And there are the plumerias.